Have you ever wondered how much water the world wastes every day while some parts struggle to find a single drop? Imagine a world where the flow of water is not equal, where some parts are drowning in excess while others are parched. This is the reality of our global water crisis, a crisis that is not shared equally among the nations. In our journey today, we'll traverse across continents, from the bustling streets of India, the sprawling cities of the USA, the vast landscapes of China, the diverse regions of Europe, to the vibrant communities of Africa. As we dive into this pressing issue, remember, every drop counts. In India, the land of rivers, water scarcity is a bitter irony. This paradox has its roots in a cocktail of issues, over-exploitation of groundwater, rampant pollution, and inadequate rainfall. Let's dive into this paradox, starting with groundwater. India is the world's largest user of groundwater, with extraction rates that far exceed its natural replenishment. This over-exploitation is like a ticking time bomb, threatening the very lifeblood of India's agricultural sector that sustains two-thirds of its population. Then, there's pollution. India's rivers, once revered as sacred life-givers, now bear the brunt of unchecked industrial waste and sewage dumping. The Ganges, for instance, is considered one of the world's most polluted rivers, its waters a toxic cocktail that exacerbates public health issues. And let's not forget the unpredictable rainfall. India's monsoon, though a celebrated season, is notoriously fickle. While it accounts for 70% of the country's annual rainfall, its erratic nature often leads to either droughts or floods, two extremes that leave no room for stability. This water crisis hits agriculture the hardest. Imagine being a farmer, dependent on monsoons for crop irrigation, and the rains fail. Or, your only source of water is a polluted river that kills your crops instead of nurturing them. This is a grim reality for many Indian farmers. And public health? Waterborne diseases are rampant, with polluted water sources causing illnesses like diarrhea and cholera. The scarcity of clean drinking water is not just a daily inconvenience, but a severe health hazard for millions. Despite having significant water sources, India's water crisis persists, a stark reminder of misplaced priorities and mismanaged resources. It's a paradox that underscores the urgent need for sustainable water management and conservation efforts. Only through these measures can India hope to untangle the knot of its water paradox. Across the Atlantic, in the land of plenty, water scarcity is a silent crisis. A nation renowned for its abundance, the United States is grappling with a less visible but equally pressing issue, water scarcity. In the sun-kissed state of California, water is a precious commodity. The region's ever-growing population and agricultural demands are straining its water resources. Overconsumption is a significant part of the problem. The average American uses an estimated 100 gallons of water per day, nearly twice the global average. This unsustainable usage is rapidly depleting the country's freshwater reserves. The Midwest, too, is caught in the crosshairs of this crisis. Known for its vast agricultural lands, the region's water-intensive farming practices are causing water tables to plummet. The Ogallala Aquifer, one of the world's largest underground water reserves, is being drained faster than it can naturally recharge. But the issue goes beyond consumption habits. The USA's aging water infrastructure is another ticking time bomb. An estimated one in every six gallons of water is lost due to leaky pipes and outdated systems. A staggering waste in a country where many regions are increasingly water-stressed. And then there's climate change. Rising temperatures and shifting rainfall patterns are exacerbating the water crisis, turning once water-rich regions into arid landscapes. The USA's water crisis is a wake-up call, a plea for sustainable consumption and conservation. It's time to rethink our relationship with water, to value it not as an infinite resource, but as the vital life-sustaining element it truly is. In the world's most populous country, China, water scarcity is a looming threat. Home to nearly one-fifth of the world's population, China's demand for water is immense. Yet its resources are strained to the brink. Pollution, overpopulation, and inefficient water management are key culprits in this crisis. Let's delve a little deeper. China's rapid industrialization has resulted in severe pollution of its water bodies. Rivers and lakes are tainted with industrial waste and untreated sewage, making a significant portion of the country's water unfit for consumption or even agricultural use. This pollution not only exacerbates water scarcity, but also poses a serious threat to public health. Couple this with China's staggering population of well over a billion people. The demand for clean water for drinking, sanitation and agriculture is astronomical, 
and the supply simply cannot keep pace. Inefficient water management strategies and outdated infrastructure further compound the problem, leading to substantial water loss. The agricultural sector, which consumes a significant portion of China's water supply, is severely impacted. With less water available for irrigation, crop yields are decreasing, threatening food security for millions. In China, the water crisis serves as a stern warning against unchecked industrialization and population growth. It's a stark reminder that sustainable practices and efficient resource management are not just an option but a necessity for the survival of our planet and its people. Europe, the cradle of modern civilization, is experiencing a water crisis of contrasting extremes. A paradoxical tale unfolds in Europe, where the south is parched, while the north is grappling with excess water. This tale of two extremes is no mere story. It's a reality that is affecting millions of lives and reshaping the landscape of this historic continent. In the sun-drenched regions of southern Europe, we find communities, farms, and cities gasping for water. Extended periods of drought are becoming the norm rather than the exception, leaving fields barren and households dry. The scarcity of water is threatening not just the agricultural sector, which is the heartbeat of the Mediterranean economies, but also the very fabric of urban living. Conversely, in the North, the narrative flips. Here, an abundance of water is not a blessing, but a curse. Frequent and intense floods are washing away homes, inundating fields, and disrupting everyday life. The overflow of water is not just causing immediate hardship, it's also raising serious questions about the future of these communities. The stark contrast of water scarcity and abundance within one continent paints a vivid picture of the water crisis's complexity. It also highlights the need for solutions that are not one-size-fits-all but tailored to regional realities and challenges. These contrasting crises in Europe are a glaring reminder of the urgent need for comprehensive water management strategies. Strategies that not only address immediate challenges, but also anticipate future scenarios. Strategies that are rooted in sustainability, inclusivity, and foresight. Europe's contrasting water crisis underscores the urgency of comprehensive water management strategies. In Africa, the struggle for water is a daily battle, a matter of life and death. The continent, rich in culture and diversity, is grappling with a water crisis that's far from trivial. It's a crisis born out of a complex mix of factors, climate change, lack of infrastructure, and widespread poverty. Climate change, with its capricious weather patterns and extreme events, is not making things any easier. Droughts are becoming more frequent, more intense, turning once fertile lands into barren landscapes. On the other end of the spectrum, torrential rains lead to flooding, contaminating the scarce clean water sources that exist. This is the harsh reality of a changing climate. Yet the crisis isn't solely the work of nature's whims. Infrastructure, or rather the lack of it, plays a significant role. In many parts of Africa, clean water sources are often miles away with no pipelines or infrastructure to transport this precious resource. This means that the task of fetching water, often from contaminated sources, falls on the shoulders of the most vulnerable women and children. Poverty adds another layer of complexity. Many families simply cannot afford clean water, even when it's available. This, coupled with inadequate sanitation facilities, sets the stage for a public health crisis. Waterborne diseases become rampant, affecting the most defenseless, women and children. But it's not all doom and gloom. There's a silver lining in the form of international cooperation and sustainable water management practices. UNESCO's Digital Library, for instance, highlights the importance of these practices, emphasizing that partnerships and inclusive stakeholder participation can prevent a global water crisis. Africa's water crisis is a stark reminder of the fundamental human right to water and the urgent need to address it. It's a call to action, a plea for help, a reminder that the battle for water is far from over. But with collective effort and commitment, there's hope for a future where the struggle for water is no longer a daily battle. Across continents, the water crisis paints a grim picture, but all is not lost. We've journeyed through India's paradox, the United States' hidden crisis, China's water woes, Europe's tale of two extremes, and Africa's battle for water. Each narrative has underscored the urgent need for sustainable water management and conservation. India's burgeoning population and unchecked industrial growth have put a strain on its water resources, while the United States grapples with aging infrastructure and overconsumption. China faces pollution challenges, Europe deals with disparities in water availability, and Africa fights against water scarcity amidst rapid urbanization. 
Yet, even in the face of these challenges, there is hope. Solutions lie in our collective action. We need to foster international cooperation, invest in research and development for water-saving technologies, and most importantly, educate ourselves and others about the value of water. It's time to shift our perspective and see water not just as a resource, but as the lifeblood of our planet. The global water crisis is not just a problem, it's our problem. Together, we can turn the tide.